What's up? We back with another episode of I have no idea what to call this yet. I'm probably just gonna call it cereal and something. Cereal and stuff. I don't know. But welcome back to another episode. Um First things first, what I got in the back, I got another classic that it's one of those movies that if you haven't seen it, shame on you. If you haven't gone back to rewatch it, if you have seen it, shame on you. It was most likely funny as a kid. I don't remember watching as a kid. I mean, I know I remember watching it as a kid, but I don't remember if I thought it was funny as a kid. But I remember I liked it. So now, I re obviously, you go back and rewatch it. For some reason, a lot of stuff is funnier as an adult. And this movie, Good Burger, is one of those ones that is ten times funnier as an adult. Like I said, I don't know. I don't remember how much I was laughing back in the day. But I feel like I wasn't laughing as much as I did recently uh, when I watched this as an adult. So... Good Burger is one of those movies where it's another one of those movies where it's so bad it's good or it's one of those movies where it's probably one of the worst movies ever made but it's so good that you're gonna finish it you know it had no no it has just enough funny for you to finish it but I like it and I love it. I'll go back and rewatch it. I'm probably gonna watch it again or finish watching it you know, after this video. So uh today, so I was in Walmart and as you can see the top corner is back. So you know what that means. I was in Walmart and I was just looking for some ones that I haven't tried still. Um because you know Walmart be having when it comes to cereal, Walmart is the goat walmart be having all the good shit all the time you know target they be having that target got some options but it's the basic stuff you know fruit loops cheerios apple jacks all the basic stuff that you really that you normally get and let me tell you something about uh harris teeter if you're from the south or the east coast i don't really know where harris teeters are harris teeter got full of healthy crap like them grape nuts and them goddamn stuff I never heard of. You know, grape nuts and oats and I would throw Special K in there too. Because I tried that, didn't like that. But this right here, I do not remember how this tastes whatsoever. But I know I've had it because it's back and I love cereal as a kid as much as I do now. I have no idea what this tastes like right now. So this is about to be new to me, and I don't even know how long it's been since I've had it, but it's back. So that means somebody was asking. Uh, so, but uh, you know, I'm gonna tag y'all in this video: Kellogg's, Post, um, General Mills, all y'all. If y'all can just get together and bring back, I think it's Post that makes it. If y'all can just bring back, um, what's that? Stuff? It's called Waffle Crisp. If y'all can bring that back, if you're watching this video and you know somebody that work at these uh, cereal joints, Waffle Crisp, tell them to get that back in rotation because that is my one of my all-time favorites. So yeah, and they try to put out some uh, cereal by, made by Eggos. I'll probably try those in, a, in one of these upcoming videos. I'm still skeptical about those, but the egg, not the Eggos, the Waffle Crisp. If y'all can get those back in rotation post, I know who make them get those back but we're gonna try this uh while I open this bag let me just say let me express my wait hold up let me make sure I get that as I uh open this let me express my great disappointment towards the Pittsburgh Steelers if you're watching and you're a Steelers fan I'm sorry I'm a Steelers fan and I'm sorry one of those games where you really had to turn it off in the first damn quarter because they were losing 28 to 0 in the first quarter to the Browns. If you watch football, you know why that is terrible. 
the Browns. Look them up. But, uh, yeah, that hurt, man. And we started getting some touchdowns, touchdowns coming back, but it didn't work, and I just... I would have I would have lost to anybody else, not the Browns. But they're about to get smacked next week by the Chiefs, so I ain't worried about it. And if they beat the Chiefs, then 2021 is about to be something. It's about to be even stranger than 2020. Let's just put it that way. Uh, so yeah, if you're a Steelers fan, I'm sorry, Chief. But if you're also a Steelers fan, you should be rooting for the Chiefs next week. Uh, so keep that in mind. But I'm a also a big Ohio, Ohio State football fan. I have been an Ohio State football fan since 2001. And uh, so we're in national we're in the national championship tonight. So I'm looking forward to watching that. Uh, but we're going against Alabama, so it could be another situation of 28 to zero in the first quarter. Two teams that we no, we're good, but it can be a situation where we get our ass beat bad. But I got faith in Justin Fields. He's about to go in there and ball like he did against Clemson, and we're going to keep our fingers crossed. So, but first, let's do this dry taste test, because we got to do that. My hands are clean. Trust me, I got a dog. I keep my hands clean at all times. Hey. I probably should have put it in the bowl first. Neither does dry taste test. Sticking my hand in the box. But nobody else in my house eats cereal like me, so I ain't worried about it. I'm going to put a little bit because I don't want to waste it. Because these are freaking good. The dry taste test passes. Oh, got a little dark on me. We passed the dry taste test. These are good as hell. So you can only imagine how fire these about to be with some milk. But, uh, you know what's funny though? I'm thinking my last video, I talked about the riots and how dumb they were. Ooh, you can't see me. I talked about the riots and how stupid they were. So now, it's just getting funny. Because now we got all these people getting rounded up like goddamn chickens in a coop. They're out here scooping these people like, I don't even know a good example. But, uh... Oh yeah, I'm bringing these back. These are fantastic. Yeah, I don't remember these. With a crunchy graham cereal wrapped in a chocolatey coating with marshmallows. I ain't even know the marshmallows in here, so I just look at it. But uh, oh yeah. I'm about to finish this. So just know. I'm going to be chomping on this throughout. But, uh. Yeah. So these people are getting rounded up. Like crazy. And it's just so funny to me. How. One. So they wouldn't destroy the Capitol on a Wednesday. Was it Wednesday? Today's Monday, Saturday, Friday. Was it a Wednesday? I think it was a Wednesday. So, they went and drove the Capitol on a Wednesday. We already know the majority of these clowns didn't even live in Washington, D.C. or anywhere near it. So, you can only imagine what they're traveling back to. You got your Floridas. You got your North Carolina. I live in North Carolina. So, I'm certain we had a bunch from here. South Carolina, obviously. I just realized I hate the way I'm saying South Carolina now. I don't have a country accent. But some of that stuff, you know, you start to just talk like it you know Carolina like you hear that I hate that Carolina 
And I'm from up north. So you, we, we don't have... Well, we do have an accent up there, but I didn't get that either. So I'm so weird. I didn't get any accents. And I lived in places where accents are strong. Minnesota, Georgia, here. It's just weird. I don't have an accent at all. Never have been. I've always talked white, is what they call me. When you had the South Carolinas. Mmm. Did I say Georgia? I said Florida. Yeah, it's Georgia's, the Alabama's, Mississippi's, or Louisiana's. I'm certain somebody came from Texas. Um, it ain't too far. Um, ooh, Tennessee. I've been saying Tennessee on a lot on the news about how they, they just, you know, just said F COVID, no mask. So, you know, you got a bunch from Tennessee. Ooh, Kentucky. We know they went there in droves, probably. Uh, who else? Probably Ohio. Ain't that far. Indiana. We know some people from there went. Um, West Virginia. I forget about West Virginia. It's right above me. West Virginia. So you got all these states where people came from. Damn, this is good. So they all went back there. Read the Capitol on a Wednesday. Got back home maybe Thursday, Friday. Right? Saturday and Sunday, they was... No, no. They got back home maybe Thursday. Um, some of them probably super proud of what they did. Some of them probably super proud and happy. But they did exactly, literally exactly what they got mad at BLM protesters for doing, rioting, such and such. It is, it's so weird to me. They literally condemned, made every African American, whoever followed them, to be thugs, blah, 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 and did exactly, literally the exact same thing. It just is like a damn movie. It's like it's not real how some of the thoughts are getting processed. But, you know, and they were riding, they were destroying, you know, building, they destroyed the Target, you know, the Walmarts, whatevers. They destroyed the Capitol building. So, I don't know. One of them sounds worse than the other. They both are bad, but. You know, they really wanted to. They could have shut all of them. But anyway. So they raided on a Wednesday. Got home probably Thursday. Thursday night, Friday morning. And Friday morning, they're probably instantly regretting everything that happened. Because they woke up thinking, damn. Damn. I just broke into a federal building. My patriot loving ass, my American ass. I got flags on my car. I got flags on my room. I got flags at my house. I got flag paint on the wall. You know, I got flag dishes. I have, you know what I'm saying? I got flag this, flag that. You know what I'm saying? I know my rights, blah, blah, blah. You know, the rights that this great country has come up with, but only certain people have to follow them. Um, so I woke up, I went to the, the Capitol, a patriot loving American, just wanting to stop the vote. I now wake up on Friday morning, a criminal uh, with federal charges probably about to be thrown at my ass. And, uh, But let me have some breakfast first. And I hope a lot of you fools who did that went and got you a box of these. So that um you can do your thing. Eat you a box of these before you get locked up for federal charges. It'll do you wonders. And I wouldn't say it tastes like a s'more. But I know I want some more. So uh, there's that. So I woke up on a Friday just thinking, damn. I was a patriot. 
loved America on Wednesday. I am now a criminal today. Yeah, boy, I couldn't imagine how they feel waking up that morning on Friday. When they saw what they were thinking. When they saw Earl getting arrested on Friday morning, Thursday night maybe. Like, oh shit. It's just one of us getting arrested. We're cool. We'll make it. They won't find us. They won't have any pictures of us. Nobody was taking videos in that era where videos are God. Cameras are king. Um, you know, streaming is everything. Nobody took videos and took camera, took pictures of everything we were doing. Ain't no way. Ain't no way they'll find me. I'm going back home to wherever I live in my, you know, tiny town or whatever. And they'll never find me, right? Wrong. Woke up Friday morning, they were like, oh, damn. Oh, they didn't got two of us. Oh, man. They didn't got that guy who's dressed up like a buffalo soldier. Oh, man. They didn't got the dude who wore his whole work badge to the damn riot. He wore his work badge to the riot. And not only did he wear his work badge, there was a whole picture of his ass somewhere. I saw it. I saw it on YouTube, actually. On the news YouTube. I don't know if it was CNN or whatever. Got a picture of this clown. He got his whole badge with himself. Whole full body picture. In the camera. The police, could, the FBI could easily zoom in at his badge. And see his name and where he works. Now. Why would you wear your work badge to the thing anyway? So chances are. Wherever the hell he was from. He left work. And came straight there. To go tear some shit up. And to go back home and oh I'm gonna go work go back to work the next day. <laughs> like nothing happened all willy nilly. Nah, Chief. Caught him. Then you got clowns who are lawmakers at West Virginia. He's getting arrested at his grandma's house. It's not grandma gonna deal with that. And then you got Damn, what was another one? Oh, I just saw yesterday. A CEO of some business, usually CEOs make bread. A CEO of some business, he was, uh, I think he was caught with zip ties. So he was getting ready to string somebody up. Like he was a damn police. He was a CEO of a business and his, his board apparently voted him out as CEO. He's gone. He live on, he's not the CEO no more. And they got a video of him saying that's the biggest mistake he's ever made in his life. Blah, blah, blah. But if you catch the video from Wednesday, my man was in the thick of it. Looking happy. Being a patriot. I don't even know what the fuck up. Excuse my language. I don't even know what a patriot is anymore. After, after what I saw on Wednesday, I have no idea what that means. What does the term patriot mean? I have no idea. And I would love somebody to explain it to me. Because, you know, I live in America. And... But they was, that's all they were screaming. Patriot this, America this, USA. You know, what does USA mean to y'all anymore? The fact that y'all were so mad about these votes. That you went to storm the Capitol. What does America mean to y'all? You know, I don't get it. But the, back to what I was saying. You know, my man, was a, he was a CEO. And they went and rounded him up. So... Any more I, could, I don't, can't think of any more off the top of my head. But they were just rounding these boys up. And ladies. You know? But they were just... It's funny how they really thought that they were to do this and just go home. And there just won't be any consequences. Because they're thinking, oh, it's so many of us. They'll never have footage of us doing this. They'll have to surf through a bunch of footage. Dude. By the time they find us, you know, they'll be... This will be forgotten about and nobody will care anymore. I'm like, what? You really think nobody's gonna care anymore that you storm the Capitol? We're gonna talk about that for a good month, at least. 
because it was so it was it's because there were so many y'all that was a problem there is so much video footage and so much stuff to go through that they're going to be watching you for weeks they're going to be looking through this footage for weeks and every day or every other day something new gonna pop up fbi found this dc police found this Oh, we looking for this person now. Oh, we looking for this person now. Like, they about to come scoop y'all up, boy. You know what I'm saying? They got the ice cream scoop and y'all in the bowl. And they just about to come get y'all one by one. And please have your affairs in order before they come get you. It's uh, the best advice anybody can give you. Make sure your family is straight. Who knows? You might be going for a couple months. You might be going for a couple years, depending on what you had on you. And depending on what you did. Um, but they're out here rounding y'all up, man. You know, they're about to whoop y'all ass like, they, like the Browns did my Steelers. They're about to come get you. And I hope y'all are prepared for it. And I hope most of y'all are not coming out of here with that, uh, I'm deeply sad. I deeply regret it. I, uh, you know, I feel like trash that I did this. You know, I, this is not me. I would never do that. It was like, I think that I think that means absolutely nothing now. They got you on tape, and I think that was your first mistake. And I think that's anybody's first mistake in doing anything they're not supposed to these days. Is that everybody can get it on video, and I think that's what you need to realize these days when you are even considering doing something you're not supposed to. Everything is on video. And before you make the decision of doing something stupid, nine, no, I won't say nine, I would say seven times out of ten, somebody's watching you. And I hope you're prepared for the back, the backlash. But I'll leave it with this final thought because I feel like it needed to be said. As someone who genuinely and when I say genuinely, I mean it from the bottom of my heart. From someone who genuinely loves working with kids. Um, for someone who genuinely loves working with kids, I feel like the parents who are getting arrested for this, the parents who were involved at all, because there's a good chance that the majority of them were parents. And this is what they're teaching their kids. You know, and as a as a teacher, I look and see that the kind of people their parents are is not who they are in the classroom. They want to be friends with everybody. There's no uh, there's no kids. I'm broken middle schoolers, so they they're pretty able. They're pretty capable of advocating for themselves. There's no Trump this, Trump that. You know, forget BLM, blah blah blah. They're not saying any of that at school. So, if you're watching this and you do support Trump, and you're watching this and you hate BLM or you don't, you hate gay people, uh, you hate uh, anything in the LGBTQT community, you hate any of that. Let me tell you something. None of your um, doing or saying any of that at school. All they want to do is be friends with people and have fun and talk and laugh and joke. Yes, they may talk trash about each other a lot of the time, but I guarantee you they'll be friends tomorrow. But everything you're preaching at home, your kid is not doing in school. And I think it's because of, you know, the era we live in where... The kind of hate that these people have is old hate. And it's this hate that comes from, you know, before I was even born. And you have the gullible adults now who were taught that by their grandparents or, you know, you got the people that's my age who was probably taught that by their grandparents and then their parents. You know, but then you got those kids 
those young adults after me who are just like finding their parents. I see it on TikTok all the time and it's so interesting to see and hear it. These people, these kids, these uh, young adults are fighting their parents on believing and following that. Even if I feel like after Wednesday, after that riot, anybody who wears that hat or drives around with that flag, the kind of hate that you feel when you look at African Americans or minorities or anybody who supports them, that kind of hate is literally getting ready to be reciprocated towards you. It probably was before, but not as much. But anybody who wears that stuff or associates with that after Wednesday, I think that really shows the kind of person that you are. And whatever reason you feel like what happened on Wednesday was okay, or you feel like those people had the right reasons or whatever you know I figure I feel like I hope you find what you're looking for in your lifetime that will make you feel like the country is doing right by you and people are doing right by you you guys feel anybody who supports that you feel wronged or slighted or something didn't go your way and Nothing you can do about that. I have a whole book about it. You worried about something you can't control. And know what happens when you worry about stuff you can't control? You end up making dumb decisions. So, I encourage everybody to not worry about stuff they can't control. And please Share that message with everybody. If something's out of your control, don't worry about it. If it's something that you can control, don't worry about it. Because either way, you're going to have to figure it out. So, I'll leave you with that. My dog is snoring in the back because he just came from daycare. So my man's is tired. He, he didn't even make it to the couch. That's hilarious. Usually he goes to his blanket on the, on the couch. He ain't made it to the couch. So I gotta be careful not to roll my chair over his head so I don't bust his dome. In the meantime, if these are back, that means they won't be back for long. So go get you a box of these. These are delicious. If it wasn't close to dinner time, I would have a second bowl. But I need to make room. I gotta keep make sure I have some room. This is just my uh, my snack because I ate today, so it's worked out perfect. Uh, go get you a bowl. Stay happy. Stay blessed. Stay out of trouble. And uh, yeah. <laughs>